Hello YouTubers, it's me Pinky and I just wanted to do a vlog slash uh, product review video. I also want to show you what my curls look like because this will be the first video that I've done on this about um, beauty products that I've used and what my hair looks like. Um, this is a Samsung Galaxy S7 that I'm using. My previous phone was the S4 and um, I'm hoping, oh yes, I'm hoping what I'm seeing inside the screen right now is exactly what turns out in the final video once it uploads to YouTube. Because you know how you lose a little bit of resolution in your videos after you upload to um, YouTube because YouTube is exactly like totally formatted for high res. But now, first time without me holding my hair, you can actually see that I have a head full of coils. And it's not super frizzy, actually. I got coils all the way from my roots all the way down to the ends of my hair. Um, it took me about three years to transition on um, getting rid of my chemical-treated hair. Um, I recently washed my hair Friday of last week. Like, today's the... Today's the 22nd, so a few more days will be coming up on a wash day. But um, I washed my hair Friday, and instead of shampooing, I used one of the products that I picked up because I've never ever bought an actual commercial branded uh, co-wash. When I co-washed, I used like a rinse out conditioner, and I'm sorry, it's my cat. He, I just finished coming home, so he's like, where have you been? And if you must know, my cat's name is Stacy Kitty. If he comes back, I'll show him the video but he just said he, he walked around my foot and he said something and then left the room but um it's the cream of nature with argan oil from morocco kroger's is on uh, wards road in lynchburg virginia currently has almost every product in this line this product line on closeout so this was regularly like eight bucks a guy for like around three if i did pay four dollars for it i think i got it for free 352 or 333 or something like that. Yep, here he is. Okay, look, there's Stacy Kitty. Hi, Stacy Kitty. Hello, Stacy. Hi. And sorry, guys, my carpet is like super, super old, so it's like it looks horrific. What's up, buddy? Alright, so, um,. Set his pump style to it. The pump is a good pump except for one problem. The product comes out in thin ribbons. Um and um it just needs to be for my for my wash day, I need it to be like more like those uh, salon style pumps where a lot more product comes out with each pump versus a thin ribbon. A thin ribbon's fine for body lotion, not fine for my conditioners and shampoos. Um my hair felt really soft after I rinsed it off. Um, it didn't spread really well in my hair when I was applying my hair after I got fully drenched with water. Um, but it's a. Uh, I'm gonna close this door because the way he's meowing, he might scratch me. Was once in a while he gets a little bit moody, and usually when he gets too moody, it's followed by a scratch. So, you'll hear me out for the rest of the video, but at least I won't get scratched until the video's over with. Um, and you're, if, if some of y'all ask me uh, why would I keep a cat that might scratch me, uh, or definitely scratches me, uh, I have a kind of catty nature myself as far as that type of attitude goes. No, I don't go scratching humans, but metaphorically, I do. But not physically. Um, so the mood changes and everything like that sort of fit my personality, so I can't really follow him over there because I can actually relate. And, uh, he was abandoned by his mother, so, you know, I, I kind of would have a bad attitude too if my mom ditched me when I was a baby, before I was old enough to be ditched. Alright, but, um, yeah, uh, it took a while for this product to soften my hair. Once it got to softening up my hair... I was able to detangle my hair with it. It actually has, once your hair starts to absorb it, it actually has pretty good slip. Not so much good slip as far as me not having to use so much of it. Like, if I can, I don't know, right here. If you can imagine that, like, four more times, it's basically, 
this bottle from my head this is my hair shrunk it i have a lot more hair in this like my hair when it's fully saturated touches the bottom of the kitchen sink it's a good like six to seven inches long or eight inches long on there but um yeah as this is bottle it's only good for like five washes. I had to basically take this nozzle off to squeeze the bottle because it's actually pretty thick. See that? You don't even see any product right now. It's pretty thick. So it's quite a bit of, of the bottle is very squeezable though once you get the cap off. Of course, right now I can't really squeeze it by much because the cap's stopping air from getting in. But yeah. Um, so I'm glad I got it on closeout and I didn't pay full price because there's nothing worse to discovering that a product has bad uh, container design and you spent $8 on it and it's like, y'all, that's too much money to spend on a hair product if you can't get the product out of the bottle. But um, like I said, the pump is good. It comes out really nicely out of the pump. It's just not a wide enough opening to get... It was really taxing getting enough product in my hands because you can't like... um rapid pump this you can pump it down and you have to let it come all the way back up before you can pump it back down again and get product to come out of it um but it's just the design of the pump but it didn't like stick or jam or anything like that um it also has a neat feature where you could twist it to open it and then twist it back the opposite direction to close it so that way if you drop the bottle it's not going to like um spill out see so you could drop the bottle and it could land on top of his nozzle and you won't have product all over the place um after I rinsed it out, my hair felt super, super soft. Um, like I said, I did shampoo. I didn't shampoo my hair. I detangled my hair um, before I rinsed it out. So it was actually in my hair for quite a while because I hadn't detangled my hair in a while. So it took me about a half hour to detangle my hair. So I did not follow up with a rinse out conditioner or a deep conditioner because I wanted to see, because like the product says, after you use this, um, to, you can rinse it out and then put a leave-in conditioner in your hair is how it says. So I wanted to use it the way it said the first time around. Um, the other thing I got at Kroger's will close out. I think I paid $4.99 for it. So I don't think I got this as cheap as the Cream of Nature Co-Wash. Um, it's Allocaine Naturals Lemongrass Leave-In Conditioner. I've been wanting to try this for a while. Both of these products have been out for a while. So I'm not that natural chick that has, you know, a curl box description where I can actually try this stuff out when it comes out and stuff. I'm kind of like a late on the game trying some of this stuff that's been out for a while, but, um, and you don't get yellow. It looks like this yellow dye, but it doesn't dye your scalp or your skin or anything like that. And I got some on the wall, but it didn't dye the walls. I did wipe the walls off immediately after it happened though. But, um, it's mostly nat. both products is mostly natural ingredients in them. Um, this has no mineral oil, petroleum, and silicone. So fix same thing with this other um, one. Um, this leave conditioner is not a oil-rich leave-in. So you will have to seal your hair with oil if you use it by itself. Um, at a shampooing, it recommends using it in your hair after shampooing um, or, you know, after you rinse out your rinse out conditioner. And then it recommends you um, for wet hair or damp hair to put a thicker leave it conditioner or styling cream on your hair after you use this um so my hair didn't frizz as much and then my thicker conditioner which is almost empty though but i have another full size in the closet and forgive me it's nasty because it's been i haven't used this for a while so it's a jamaican black castor oil street fit and grow leave it conditioner by shea moisture and that's like a staple product for me right now. Um, and I did not like how my hair felt. I love how my hair feels. I've done wash it goes with just this. And then maybe like a scalp oil on my hair. Um, a scalp oil for my scalp, I mean. And I've done a pretty good wash goes. My wash goes end up looking like this. Um, this is... All I've been doing says wash day is just spritzing my hair with water to loosen it back up and then sealing it with castor oil, uh, castor oil mixture really, and just tussling my hair. So my hair has it tangled up, um, it coils back once it fully dries, it's shrunken, and I embrace the shrink because my hair has the most definition when it's fully shrunken versus when I try to stretch it. Um, my twist outs have started looking kind of funky, so yeah, I don't kind of like do that. All right, last product so I don't know 
So this is not necessarily a rebuy because of the container design. It's not practical as far as we gain enough product out. And because of how much product I have to use in my hair to feel like I have enough product in my hair. So that's like not really a rebuy, but I don't, the actual product itself is pretty good. Just not the container and the price when it's regular price. Um, this is, I don't think I could detangle my hair and it makes no claims for detangling, but you can put in wet or dry hair and I almost feel like I like this better. Oh, there it is, $4.99. Regularly $12.99. Yeah, I would never pay $12.99 for this. Um, uh, what was I going to say? I like, and this might feel sound weird, but I liked how applying this to dry hair felt versus applying it to my wet hair. It just kind of like didn't feel like I was putting conditioner in my hair when my hair was wet. Um, my hair didn't feel conditioned until I put my regular leave-in on top of this. So, and I did not detangle my hair a second time. I detangled my hair during the co-wash phase. I didn't, I don't, to not stress my curls and stuff like that. I don't like usually run a comb a second time through. Um, so that's it for the hair stuff. Um, I tried Yes to Carrots Clear Skin Acne Clearing Facial Toner. Um, I only just recently started using this. I'm still trying to finish up my Neutrogena, uh, Neutrogena Clear Pore Oil Eliminating Astringent. Um, this is pretty good when I'm broke broke and I can't afford to buy something like Yes to Carrots or Burt Bees or Mary Kay's toners. Um, well, actually, I haven't tried Burt's Bees yet, so scratch that. Uh, Alba Botanica, that's what I meant to say, not Burt's Bees, because that's still on my need to try list. But um, yeah, as you can see, this is almost empty. So soon, I will be using this. Um, the first few times I've used this after washing my face, the cotton ball isn't nearly as dirty looking as when I used the Neutrogena. So I don't think it exfoliates my skin as well as the other acne brands that I've used so far. But my skin hasn't had a bad or adverse reaction to it, and it doesn't show any signs of new breakouts or anything like that. So I'm not going to say it's ineffective. It might not be as effective on my blackheads like I was hoping. So I was, you know how tomato acid is? Um, tomato acid is pretty strong. Um, it also has witch hazel in it. So it's supposed to leave your skin feeling balanced and toned. Um, which is for the most part, like I said, it says, and it does have 0.5% salicylic acid in it, as well as the active, in 40 active ingredients. It's chock full of wonderful botanicals. It's got like, um, green tea leaf extract in it as well. Neem flower extract, blackberry, watermelon. And then Yes tries to make their products anywhere from 95% natural to sometimes they have, I don't know if they have a 100% natural product but it usually is like 95% to 98% natural products and this one is a 98% and I like it now last thing is a hand soap well actually no this is going to be there's one more soap I have to do after this one this is the simple truth hand soap um the scent is Treat out of blossom. Sorry, I'm trying to read through my uh, bathroom mirror uh, because I'm facing it this way. But um, it's made it from 70% organic ingredients. Pretty much most of the ingredients are um, plant based, no harsh chemicals ever. And this simple truth is Kroger's um, branding. Uh, no parabens, phthalates, or sulfates. So it's sulfate free. So you're not like basically putting more sulfates into your drinking water. Um, there's other reasons people say sulfates are too harsh on skin, but um, I use sulfates to wash my dishes. I use sulfates in most of my regular shampoos because I don't always get the same clean or feel like all the product would build up is left with my hair. If after a while I've used a sulfate free or co-washing, um, I need a sulfate shampoo to totally clear my hair, but I'm not using sulfates as much on a regular basis. But, um, I like the scent to this. Um, it lathers and bubbles up if you use it as a hand soap. I usually typically use my soaps as body wash also. Um, as far as using it as a body wash, as far as applying it to like a washcloth or a bath sponge, it really doesn't, um, it really doesn't lather up that well. So it's still a little, it'll clean your skin, but if you're like one of those people where you have to feel lathered in order to feel clean, 
you're not going to get that with you with using this. Why don't you rinse off the your skin feels like you cleaned with a sulfate soap, but maybe not as harsh and stuff because it's not like overly drying or anything like that. Um, but yeah, the, so there's no uh, outside hand washing. There's no enjoyable lather with bathing with the soap. It's still a rebuy if I get a coupon. Simple Truth is a bit pricey. It was only a dollar cheaper than some of the other green brands um, hand soaps. So it's, it's a bit pricey. The next soap is the Shea Moisture Coconut Hibiscus Soap. And then I have like a rose scented one also. But um, yeah, I think you can, I don't think you can see Shea Moisture anymore. It has Shea Moisture was engraved on the soap bar on this side. And then it has bits of mushroom stem kicking out of it. Um, it smells nice, but the coconut hibiscus smell that if you love that smell from the um, hairline, it's very, very faint and it's a little bit more earthy because one of the main ingredients is a mushroom to this that's really good for your skin. Um, and then here's this. I've been using this to set my soap fan in, but I got it for Ross at $249. It says comparable to $4. There's some places that charge you a whole $5 for the Shea Moisture soaps, regardless of what size the soap bar is. But yeah, it's Covenant Hibiscus Shea Butter Soap with Song, Songji Mushroom. Forgive my pronunciation on that one. And then, of course, it's chock full of awesome stuff in it. Um, it says a skin brightening for your face and body bar. And I think it's somewhat true. You know, it's not mad, mad true, you know, but it's somewhat true because my skin has had an improvement and I, it's so far been liking this um, soap. Um, the only thing I hate about it is it's the bits of dried mushroom stem, which is what I'm assuming. I'm assuming these are dried, stringy mushroom stem sticking out of this. Um, it's not an exfoliating bar. It's a smooth bar, except for as you use it, these little bits start poking out. And when they get on your washcloth or your bath sponge, they might get places on your skin where there's crevices on your body. And once you dry out, it's like having a splinter poke you. So when I use this, I have to like examine my washcloth before I apply it to my body to just pick out the little bits off of my washcloth so I don't have that happening, which is annoying, which is why this is a no rebuy for me. Otherwise than that, it's a solid soap. Um, it's not overly drying which is to be expected from a Shea Moisture soap so far. Um, but um, yeah, I haven't tried the rose one yet because I gotta use this one all the way up. Um, I've had this about a couple of weeks now. And the wear's not too bad. I'm guessing like if I was using it in the shower though, probably this would get eaten up a lot faster if I was using a shower, but for bath so far, not so much. Cause I apply, I went in a washcloth and I applied the soap to my washcloth. Is how I use my soaps, except for like when I'm hand washing. All right, I think that's it for this video because it's gonna be like over overly long. And yeah, later I got another video to make Dollar Tree haul coming up.